I'm Becca Saltzman. Uh, I am the CEO and co-founder of Finji. We're a small independent studio, technically now out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I'm Adam Saltzman. I'm the director and co-founder of Finji. Um, we're married, so it's not yeah, just I'm a... Yeah, I'm stuck with him. Not just a coincidence. <laughs> uh, Night in the Woods came out on like a week Tuesday. ago. Tuesday. Yeah, okay. The 21st, exactly one week ago. Right. In most, most platforms and regions, and then it came out today in, uh, in PlayStation Europe, Europe on PSN. What's the past couple of weeks been like? I'm, I'm guessing, you know, shipping a game's never, never easy, but for, you know, a smaller team as well, it must be that much more it's, hard. We'll just say it's been intense. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think we, we decided to rebrand uh, <laughs> the Death March and call it a work party. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, there was a really, uh, Alec tweeted this really lovely thing a couple days into, like, our final work party, a couple, like, a day or two into, like, the work, the final work party, and it was just like, you know, I've never done anything like this in my life, mm. which is saying something. Um, but at least it feels like I'm planning a heist at a slumber party with my best friends. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, we kept it pretty up. Mm. Um, but we, we weren't actually supposed to stay in a hotel this week. We were going to crash with friends on like a friend's couch, um, which is totally cool. But like sometime on Sunday, I was like, I, I've only slept in a bed once since like February 18th. Oh my goodness. Because I was I was running testing overnight. Like we'd get our builds and like the darn thing had to be tested. So yeah, I was running yeah. like the PlayStation builds overnight, like doing full playthroughs on the oh whole game. Gosh. But there, like we had all these testers all over the world and somebody had to sort of like keep track of them as well. So like right. I was yeah. like navigating with the testers overnight and like our like PR marketing, Chris was also running builds overnight. So we were, there were so many people like doing things that are not yeah, actually had, in I mean, their with these amazing testers skill sets that right. like, I'm volunteered not a tester in business yeah. but somebody had to test this game and the way it was coming in like it had to be me right um, or somebody like really close to the team but there was also I mean there were there were all these people who aren't I mean they're they're credited on the game yeah. but they weren't they're not part of our company or anything mm -hmm. we we're just like hey this thing's coming in super hot we don't know what to do we don't have time to do all the playtesting ourselves and we had other game developers yeah um, just like tagging in playing through yeah. every new build sending back 50 pages mm -hmm. of notes we're, and we're weak you know it's been it's been out and it's been reviews really hot like super cool great reception but also there hasn't been like anyone i haven't mentioned seen anyone talking about any sort of technical issues or or anything on yeah on. we only had like one major one everything else has been like super minor except for like some proper haunting uh, i'm yeah. gonna tell the proper haunting because it's a good one yeah so <laughs> Uh, game it out for maybe two days. We patched it a couple times to get these these weird ones, and uh, the player base is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to get like uh, like very weird reports. Somebody reported the character wouldn't stop walking to the right. I was like, right. Did you knock your controller off your desk? <laughs> they're like, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, But that was great. I was like, I was like, Great, problem yeah. solved. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Uh, and we get this email, and they're like, Hey, so I was playing through. I was right at the start of the game, and I went. Um, you know, I got to the main character's house, and I went down. I talked to this person at this thing, and it and it unlocked this. And then I, uh, I hopped across the things. I talked to Greg, who's one of the other main characters, and um, he had this garden gnome, and he threw the garden gnome off the roof, and then the game crashed, and I get, can't get past it. Can you help me fix my save file or whatever? Okay. Um, it's only totally normal bug report, except um, that scene hasn't been in the game for two years. What? That's part of the original That's 2014 E3 demo. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, and we're just like, how the <laughs> hell are they finding this? And it's on PS4. You're like, is this email from two years ago? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? And um, we haven't had we haven't had a whole lot of sleep. We're like currently on this train yeah. in the middle of nowhere. We're right. just going like, how do they find this? And how do they find it on PS4? Right. Of all yeah, the places to have, find it. Like even if we left in debug keys somewhere. Yeah, somebody you know, maybe like that we yeah. missed. Yeah. We get maybe we got almost all of them, but like somebody pressed the wrong thing, mm -hmm. and then the thing and got messed yeah, up. But it's on PS4. The There's no, we don't have debug keys on the gamepad. They were all keyboard debug keys. Finally, um, they go, "Oh my God, you can have keyboard on PS4. They have those little chat keyboards." Right. That you like put on the controller, and if they mash the thing and they were in the wrong scene and it did the thing, we think it might have been able to reset it, and it goes into haunted night in the yeah. woods mode and starts playing stuff from two years ago. And we're just like, that's all right, nuts. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's just all we can deal yeah. with that. Let's let's uh, let's fix that.
for like hard. the two people. Yeah. <laughs> or it's actually it's like it's like six people at this point. Yeah. They're like, hey, so I'm, I'm like, yep, we know you're proper haunted right now. We're working on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, like these are these weird little. These, these are exactly the in. bugs that we want. We want right. we want yeah. the reception of the game to be what it is we, unanimously like intensely positive right mm -hmm. and then three people have ghosts right? <laughs> and they <laughs> like, think the perfect. ghosts are funny exactly and they're perfect. starting to like put the ghost in like the story like yeah there's lore is, they're like that's lore. just like greg greg would haunt this game yeah <laughs> and we're like this is great thank you thank you for not being angry that like our game is proper haunted so we came in a little hot on the release which meant we also came in really really hot on review codes right um which was fine we like sort of I mean, it wasn't fine, but we prefaced, like, when we were speaking to reviewers, like, hey, we're not expecting, like, day one reviews. Like, mm. this is legit our fault. We didn't get you codes in time. Yeah, we, we know this. We, <laughs> and, and we want you to take time. Yeah, we want you to spend right. a lot of time with this before, like, don't try to rush through it. Like, we want you to play this game. Like, yeah. really play it. I mean, like, we apologize. This is on us. But if, yeah. if possible, don't rush this out because yeah. it's not, it's going to, it'll be a weird review yeah. of the game and people right. are like, it's not going to match what your audience is is seeing. Yeah. So um, we got like the first one, which was like Game Informer, maybe. Our, the very I, first one was Rock Paper Shotgun. All right. Oh no. Simply and saying, I... Night in the Woods is apparently not delayed. <laughs> okay. Stay tuned. Yeah. We <laughs> had a we uh, had an entire did, okay. we had an entire like press or article written about the delay. Right. But apparently it's not. So we trashed it and wrote this one. And I thought it was the funniest, <laughs> yeah, snarky really crap. Funny. That I was like, was I'm just going to retweet this all day. This is really <laughs> yeah. funny. Did you, but, had you told people it was delayed? Um, or, I think people just made assumptions. Made assumptions because right. because the games. Friday before right. the game came out, because the game wasn't done and we hadn't sent it to anyone, mm -hmm. that normally that means the game is not coming out on Tuesday. Right. Um, but then it, uh, then it, it did. It did. Uh, Work party. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like the very first one that like came in that like really stands out to me is the Game Informer came in and it's really long. And I we were sitting on train jam, we're still sort of like tired and kind of emotional. And I was sitting like in our little like closet room with like the two bunk bed things. <laughs> and I'm like halfway through and they get to the point where it's so obvious that they get it. Right. And I'm like choking up while reading this thing and I'm just like, Adam, they got it. Mm -hmm. This is great, like, because I already knew all the people playing got it, because mm. it's obvious. I mean, we've been watching reactions for like three days, but like, right. this is not a normal game. Mm. No one's decided what genre the game is yeah. yet. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so like, they, like oh, some people have, they're like, oh well, visual novel, but that's not accurate because those are dating sims, and this isn't that. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, not really an adventure game because you don't have inventory. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a platformer, but, but most of what you do is just talk to people. Yeah. And then there's the band practice. There's like the rhythm game in like, it. And where do you put that? And then Demon Tower, the roguelike, <laughs> and like what that what that doesn't fit in there either. Mm. But it, like, part of I think the fun for me in reading it is that. Um, uh, none of these rev these reviews are very light on comparison to other titles. Right. Mostly. Which has been great. It's... Because there's no there's no really obvious comparisons mm -hmm. yeah. that are going to be contemporary or make sense to their audience. I think like we see comparisons in like Kazayabe's like My Summer Vacation mm -hmm. or um, even like Shenmu or something like right. that. Mm -hmm. Like there's a there's a rich uh, tulip. Almost, there's like a rich history of like Japanese derp around town <laughs> as a genre, yeah. and but it's it's not contemporary, and I don't mm -hmm. know how relevant it is. I mean, people are into y Yakuza Zero right now, I guess. Right. So maybe there's a little and, bit yeah. of probably for that rather than the meat and bones. I think so. Though, I think right? so. Mm -hmm. It seems to be what's appealing to people. They like the there's a chicken that works at a bowling alley or something, <laughs> and that's like super <laughs> important to people. Yeah. Uh, but but there's no there's no consensus yeah. about what this game is or how it works and so they're they they're, t they're speaking at length right. about the game. Yeah. It's not like well the Their quest system is a little different yeah. from Arkham whatever yeah. and but so on. It's like like uniformly like those they're shouting like so it's a game it has these features it's yeah. about this long. I just want to talk about this bad breakup I had in high school for a while. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And then and they're like eight point seven out of ten. <laughs> like okay. <laughs> So where where's Overland? When are we going to get to play it? I mean, I've been playing it a bunch. But when, when does everyone else get to play it? Yeah, so we've, you got, mean, we've, we've got close to four thousand players on yeah, our right. first access our program alpha, right now, which is, which is cool. Yeah. And I think I'm hoping that we get to make a bigger racket about it this summer. We've mm. um, obviously been in Night in the Woods for a while, right? So we've been doing like just 
bare maintenance like Adam and I on Overland. But we've had Heather and Jocelyn sort of obviously working in behind the scenes. So Jocelyn's our audio director and Heather's our, our art director. So right now the very first level of the game is actually not the first level. Okay. The difficulty is right, but the art is not. So Heather's been filling out um, that particular part of the game and then also designing all the stuff that's going after the mountains. Mm. Um, so yeah, the whole game is going to sort of like shift down. Cool. And then we're adding two new levels of difficulty at the end because we're going to have right. two, these two new open biomes. And then after that, like, we have to figure out the ending, which I was actually talking about yesterday in our GDC talk, yeah. which is just like, we've just postponed it forever because we don't have enough information about what we actually want to do. So we're just like, ignore. Yeah. And then there's like some like sort of narrative hook stuff that we want to do to it, like not voiceover or full story or anything, mm. but something to help the players become more attached to their teams mm. um, and tell a more interesting story. Yeah, I know a, a core feature we want to get in before we write, push it, push this game on a, a bigger audience is um, right now, you get really, inv you do get pretty invested in your little squad, and you uh, sometimes people get invested in their car. They have like really yeah. strong emotions right. about their car, and they might play for two hours and have all these wild close calls and these daring escapes, and then they'll make some tragic error. Their dog will catch on fire, and then everything, <laughs> everything goes to hell, and. Um, uh, the way our game reacts to that is it just says game over in white letters and then reboots. Uh, Super classy. Yeah, so like giving people like... Uh, something more. Yeah, a little something. A little like here's a road map and here's where Jeff died and that was messed up and here's right. how far you made it here yeah. and here's awesome. some of the significant was, events. Like give people like this like, the way and... like scaffolding or this like mm -hmm. brochure almost mm. about like what was your adventure like and what happened and yeah. why did it matter. I think it's gonna be pretty important for people to be able to share stories with their friends more easily mm -hmm. and to have the game just acknowledge like all the all the weird interesting decisions that they made and right. uh, I think I think we'll start to get stuff like that in by the summer and then I think We're we can so excited to start working making on this. Racket. <laughs> the, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, yeah. Before we wrap up, could you tell just all the games you're working on, where you can get them, where you can play them, yeah. and what's coming out later this year? Um, so. Old stuff, we're Finji on iOS and mobile. That's where you, where you can find Cannibal, which is like the endless learner everyone And knows. hundreds. And hundreds. Um, and then, yeah, Night in the Woods is out on uh, Steam, GOG, HIO, Humble, PlayStation America, and PlayStation Europe, which also includes Australia and New Zealand, for those of you who didn't know. Um, Very good parts of Europe. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're... They were really upset when they realized that they were part of Europe. <laughs> I've gotten a couple I thought they got like, rid of the queen. Like, <laughs> oh, we can't play it. I'm, like, I'm sorry, oh, dude. I don't know why accent. you're in Europe either. You should be in Asia, technically. <laughs> you're closer. But yeah, so that's Night in the Woods. And then Overland, you can um, join our first access program, mm. um, which will be way more active on our updates now, sometimes multiple a week. Um, and we're really communicative and everything. And that's been going on like since last spring. And you can find a link to get in on that on overland-game.com. Cool. Is that cool. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. And we've got, uh, you can check out Feist. Oh, yeah. Um, we have which others. is an absolutely Goodness. achingly gorgeous sort of frantic Swiss survival platformer thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's on... PSN, oh, yeah. Xbox One, oh, yeah, Xbox um, PC, Mac, and Linux on st all the th all, all the, the things. things. Um, and you then, can check out Panoramical on Steam and Itch.io, which is um, it's it's been the chill. hardest game to describe, but everyone right. who plays it falls I'll, like madly in love with it. Fantasia. I'll put up some B-roll for that, and people will know what the, the goddamn yes. hell's going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, Fantasia yeah, yeah. for video games. It's like <laughs> it's super chill. I, we hundred percent recommend it. Like it's it's a heck of an experience. It, like yeah. audio experience is really beautiful. Yeah. And then, oh, soon. Runaway Toad. That's over. It's on iOS, and yeah. uh, it's a really fun, like, endless hopper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. It's a like, very cute story. Uh, uh, what's the rest of your GDC look like? Well, we got some meetings. We're done with like? like all of our important meetings, and my talk was yesterday. So, uh, we're sort of we have it's a very busy schedule, but it's way chill. Right. Like. Tomorrow we're just like low sitting. Low pressure. Yeah. Lots, lots of low pressure meetings. Yes. We're like sitting in a coffee shop for hours tomorrow because we don't want to run around at all. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, you come to us. We're just going to sit here all day and drink coffee. Oh, crap. We have to pick a coffee shop we and email like do. six people. We do have to pick a coffee shop. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, making time to us uh, for coming here and uh, yeah. we'll get you some coffee if you need it. <laughs>